Hey, it's Meat Sandwich from the Boris and Robin Show. It is time to take a look at the box office this weekend with Meat at the Movies. So the only movie opening wide this weekend is one I talked about a couple of weeks ago on Meat at the Movies. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I saw it last week. It is terrific. A dark comedy and sharp social satire that feels incredibly relevant with phenomenal performances from Francis McDormand, Woody Harrelson, and Sam Rockwell. It won't be for everybody, but if you have any interest at all in it, now is your chance to check it out. Otherwise, a couple of movies are opening up in limited release this weekend, and they are two of my most anticipated movies of the year. The first is The Shape of Water, the new film from Guillermo del Toro, a director that I love who has made films like Hellboy, Pan's Labyrinth, The Devil's Backbone, and Pacific Rim. The movie, set during the Cold War in 1962, follows a mute lab worker who develops a connection and falls in love with an amphibious creature that the U.S. government is holding in captivity and experimenting on. This seems like del Toro working in his Pan's Labyrinth art house mode, which he hasn't done in a while and it seems to have paid off. The movie is getting terrific reviews. Some are saying it's the best of his entire career, and releasing it in December implies the studio has some hope for the film during awards season. I think it might end up being a little too weird for the Oscars, but it's going to be well worth seeing. The other movie this weekend is also one being positioned for some Oscars, and that's not something I would ever have expected for this one. Oh hi Mark, it's The Disaster Artist, opens in limited release before going wide next week. If you're unfamiliar, James Franco directs the film and stars as Tommy Wiseau, and it is the story of the making of the 2003 movie The Room, which is pretty universally regarded as one of the worst movies ever made. Given its cast, which includes Dave Franco, Seth Rogen, Alison Brie, and Zac Efron, among many, many others, I think you'd expect the usual kind of broad comedy these people tend to deliver. Instead, while still decidedly a pretty funny movie, it's also surprisingly poignant and optimistic. It's kind of reminiscent of Tim Burton's Ed Wood, which starred Johnny Depp as the director of Plan 9 from Outer Space. The Disaster Artist has been getting incredible reviews ever since it played at festivals way back in March, so I'm excited to finally see it, and it's going to be so weird seeing Tommy Wiseau hanging out at the Oscars this year. So you have a ton of great options this week if they're playing near you, and until next time, we'll meet at the movies.